Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Medway. Today we're having a look at this lovely Bayed Liner 265 sports cruiser. As you can see, it's got a very stylish cockpit. So we have a look through. On the port side, we have got a cockpit table with seats either side. The cockpit table comes out, of course, and you might like to be interested to see that this seat here can swivel either way. It will go a little bit back, it will recline further if the table's taken out and creates a very comfortable lounge seat. To the starboard side, we've got the cockpit light there. There's a locker, speaker, and of course the all-important helm. And notice that the seats are very comfortable on this boat. You really do sort of sit into them, and there's a very nice-sized helm seat as well. Have a look here. We see the ship's wheel, as I call it and have the electrics panel below and your controls, your bilges, engine blowers, horn, trim tab controls, windless controls and of course your navigation light controls. Let's see, anchor up and down and here we have the dashboard which will give you your fuel and engine pressures. Of course we have the compass too, down the fourth compass. And here you can see these steps. This boat does not have side decks so these steps are moulded with a non-slip tread surface all the way up. You open the window here that's in the middle and you will then be able to walk onto the coach roof and deal with your bow lines or perhaps indulge in a little bit of sunbathing. Now we're going to have a look at the interior of this sports cruiser. It looks very bright and airy and as you'd expect from a bayliner there's a lot of fantastic storage solutions and conversion solutions as well, depending on whether you're sleeping or dining. So we'll start on the starboard side. Here we have the steps. First step actually raises up and has a either a bin or a, an additional storage space. Then we have the heads, which is quite spacious. Here you see the shower tray. Sea toilet, little window that actually opens for ventilation and light, and cabinet there for your toiletries. Washer hand basin with mixer tap. Everything looks very nice and clean. And then we've got more storage for toiletries and whatever have you below. Here we have the dinette. You'll see from the still shots that this converts. You take the leg of the table off and there's a hinge underneath and this forms the base to make a larger sleeping area. This back part here comes out and makes an infill as well. The Americans are very clever with their designs. There's lots of storage underneath all of these seats, by the way. I do like the curves on this boat. She's very pretty. And a very nice upholstery choice as well, which enhances the spacious feel of this boat. 
Now we're looking on the port side. You'll see that there's a plug socket there. And a very good size galley given the size of this boat. You've got your work surface, basin with your mixer tap. You only did actually use a basin earlier, so it normally is a little bit shinier. You've got your microwave oven and your hob. Plenty of storage above and below. You've got the double cupboards there, and in this cupboard here, you've got built in drawers and further storage for your plates. There's also other little hidey holes, there's a little cupboard here more storage and a large storage space below. Finally we'll have a look in the aft cabin. Um, note that there is a proper marine radio on board as well. And here we go into the aft cabin. A good size double. You've got a window again that opens to allow for light and ventilation. Quite a nice area of headroom if you're sitting up wanting to read a book. And you can get the general idea. So I think this vessel looks as if she's been maintained very nicely over the years. She certainly doesn't appear to show any signs of real wear and tear. And would make a wonderful boat for a family or a couple who enjoy cruising weekends away, or so a week up the Thames, or even the River Medway. <laughs>